Let's start this video off by just saying there isn't a whole lot difference between the Nova 2 and the Nova 3. The Nova 3 has a slightly more refined and upgraded processor, it has Bluetooth 5, and it has this two-tone color strip down below. It's also running Android 10 right out of the box. If you do want to see the full review deep dive on the Nova 2, check it out on our YouTube channel. The Nova 3 overall UI is much the same. You can tap the top. This brings down all the great stuff up top. You have your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, rotate screencast, split screen, and all your glow light and audio change right there. You do have library, store, notes, storage, apps, and settings. This is where you will find all of your icons and this remains constant throughout the entire home screen. It only goes away when you dive into something like notes, etc. Because this is running Android, with Android 10, you can essentially sideload in any app you want, including things like Amazon, Instagram, Facebook, etc. And you can go to the Google Play Market, which it comes bundled with, if you need anything else. The navigation ball might seem a little bit intrusive at first, but you can turn it off. But it's actually pretty nice. If you click on it, you get all these little icons that you can use to navigate your device. Because this is completely reliant on software for any sort of touch there's only one back button at the bottom of the device or you have to tap the top and use the traditional Android navigation the navigation ball does come in handy and it actually conforms itself to wherever you have it on the screen and it doesn't get in the way you can turn it off if you don't want it though this device comes with a bunch of different pens everything from pencil to paintbrush which has pressure sensitivity, and you can even use highlighter, pencil, and geometric shapes. Geometric shapes are very nice because even on normal mode, they show up really, really quick. And this all gets quicker with the faster modes you choose. We'll show that in a little bit. Everything is very clean and concise, and you do have line thicknesses as well that you can toggle. You do have the ability to erase, and not every pencil comes with erasers, especially this one we're using, which is the Air Pen, to show cross compatibility it actually does work on this device no problem pen paintbrush ballpoint pen pencil and highlight will show up like that and you can change the line thicknesses right here with the little scroller bar down below onyx actually has eight different colors black dark gray medium gray light gray and white white is basically the absence of color and the three colors here red green and blue will only show up after you export it but if you do write on the screen like that it will conform to a little bit of a lighter shade and then when you export it it will show up as the color respectively you can also use the lasso tool it's very handy because you can actually circle what you want and you can not only stretch and make bigger but you can actually change the dimensions and this is really nice because you actually can't do this on a lot of devices you can't change the aspect ratio you can also copy delete it stamp it and you can copy it to new pages and you can even rotate it so there's a lot of functionality here when it comes to the lasso tool Handwriting recognition is very useful as well. You have two different modes, original recognition, which effectively just puts it right where you have written it, like this, and you can actually move it around from there. Or you can go back and choose reflow recognition. What this will do is it'll actually push it to the top left corner, like so. And then you can continue your dictation like this. You can actually do it with the keyboard. You can do it with writing. If I write an H, an H is gonna be there. Or you can do text-to-speech by clicking the microphone and then once more down below. I want to take some notes. Manga looks fantastic on this device and the beauty about the 7.8 inch screen is that in real life it's about the same size as a page of manga. If I open this actual Japanese manga from Japan you will see that it's roughly the exact same size as 7.8 so it's a little bit more of an authentic feel when you use the Nova versus say the poke or the note. It is very nice and clear and it has an HD screen and you can pinch and zoom if you want to look at those trouble spots. Of course because this is running Android 10 the Amazon Kindle application works flawlessly. The page turn animations do show up but you can always change that by using different modes. You can change all your text, shares and basically everything that the Amazon Kindle application can do you can do on this device. 
Unfortunately, the Poke 3 is not big enough to do split screen, but the Nova 3 is. You see, you can have your notes on one side and do all of your note taking with everything basically from selection to handwriting recognition, or you can go over here to your Amazon app and read your manga, and you can do them at the exact same time. So you can have something open on this side, any application you want, and any application you want on this side. It's not restricted to just the note taking app. The glow light can be easily changed as well by just sliding these slider bars and it's very nice because not only do you have blue but you have orange as well so you can white balance both of them at the same time. A lot of manufacturers only allow you to choose one or the other. This one you don't have to toggle. You can just keep them both on and it looks fantastic because it's a flush screen and bezel there's no bleeding from any of the seams because this is overall a very seamless device. The Onyx Books Nova 3 is that perfect middle ground. Is it heads and tails different than the Nova 2? Not really, but there are some subtle differences that might make you want to consider this. It is a little bit bigger than the Poke 3 and smaller than the Note 3, so it's just a perfect central item to have day to day. If you want to see anything else on our YouTube channel, you can go to youtube.com slash goodereader, where we have over 2,000 plus videos for you to check out. And for Goodie Reader and a full review of the Onyx Books Nova 3, this is Peter.